The breaking news, a body has been found in an abandoned home in Traveler's Rest. 7 News reporter Asia Wilson was the first on the scene and she has the latest. The Greenville County Coroner's Office tells us the body of a woman was found inside of this abandoned home. They believe she had been there for some time. When something like this happens, it, it's it's a culture shock on this on this area. Crime scene tape and investigators swarmed this abandoned home on Monday after a woman's body was discovered inside. Uh, with the owners of the house who said nobody was not supposed to be in there. Uh, and I, I can go on record and say it is a Caucasian female. I'd say within the early 40s, mid 50s, something like that. The Greenville County Coroner's Office tells us they got the call a little after five. They're now treating it as a suspicious death. Right now we see no visible signs of trauma. Gavin Smith lives right next door to the property. He says there hasn't been any activity there for a while. Heard nothing. Uh, nobody's been on that property in several, several weeks, and uh, uh, I have seen no activity in and out of that place whatsoever. Shocked. Honestly, I was shocked. Uh, this is a peaceful, cool, quiet street. Police Chief Benjamin Ford says the owner sent two people to the home to get some things out of it. That's when the body was discovered. I heard that people may have been staying here and may have been uh, evicted in the past few months. Uh, but we're unsure at this time why this person was here. The chief says as of now, no threat to the community. This is a, an isolated incident. If it is some type of crime uh, right now, we're treating it as suspicious death. We do not know that a crime has been committed yet. But Smith says this still leaves him with concerns. Concern me. It, it is concerning uh, because, you know, you want to live in a safe neighborhood. Right now, Travelers Rest Police say if you have any information about this case, to call their office with tips. In Travelers Rest, Asia Wilson, 7 News. Now the coroner's office says they're still investigating the condition of the body. There's an autopsy set for tomorrow.